Good morning, campers. It's 10:33 hours on Tuesday, April 14th. Moose, what have you done? Your car's riding a little low. Got to do my favorite thing at Home Depot. What? You sure that'll all fit in your car? Oh yeah, <laughs> that totally fit. It's fine. Wow. <laughs> what? What is this? It goes in the front entryway. Take one. Yeah, those aren't insulation bales. Today, Bruce would be playing the part of Bruce and Batman. Batman's having Olympic poops. Look at the rest. <laughs> Each one of those is two cubic feet of dirt. Cool. Weighs about 80 pounds. Each. Yes. And then lava rock. Yes. You're asking a lot of that little car. Or as much like me. What a not get run over. There's doors on this side too, Moose. You have to take them out on this side first. Oh. Well, maybe. Well, there's a big purple truck that says no. Mum wants that truck. It is a lovely shape. It even has the lipstick going. Yeah. Vicious attack dog. She's a lover. <laughs> she can come here and poop anytime. Jesus. Now watch Josh just hang one on his nuts. So smooth and graceful. And I got flowers. And you got flowers. There's a theme. What's the theme? Yes. Uh, they're green. They're purple. Oh. Okay. It's a popular flower color. Wow. Okay. They're so pointy. Lava rocks feel like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> lava rocks. The lava rocks go on the bottom. Don't worry, you won't see them. It's not an aesthetic choice, it's a drainage thing. Alright, so. We just dumped the lava rocks in the bottom? Lava rocks, peat moss, potting soil. Lava rocks, peat moss, potting soil. All right, guys, split everything into two even piles. Just divide everything in half. One, one line on this side. Lava rocks, peat moss, then potting soil. Well, we'll leave the peat moss and potting soil there, but let's split stuff in the here. I have a knife. This is the geek group. I don't have a knife. I had the opportunity to buy a backhoe this morning, and now we're getting to play with dirt. I'll get right up. Yeah, I can get right up. That's easy to do. We have some. Yeah. I'd rather have a backhoe. <laughs> no, I got a plan. I know what I need to do. Each one of these needs a small end scale loop. Alright, bring me a bag of peat moss. I think you needed more rocks than that. Another two bags would have been about perfect. Well, we're here now. Okay. So 
Set it down somewhere. Lost it. Well, go ahead and put the two bags of rocks in the bottom, Stephen. Is it the one she's got? No. Where's the drain to? It doesn't evaporate. Cut open a thing of rocks. Oh, thank you. Bruce, cut open a thing of rocks. Dump it in the thing. Here. Oh yeah, I already have it. Yeah, what? Put it on the computer. In there. Um, not on the computer yet. Mr. Bellatini, mm. I would like to request a cutting from your uh, spider plant for one side, and uh, I'll put a cutting from my plant on the other side. Well, Jerry gave me a haircut, so it's going to be a while. Alright. How recently did he give it a haircut? I really don't know. Oh, okay. Because if it was like within the past 24 hours, we could just bring some pieces over. No. Oh, okay. Mr. Bellatini, can you please get us some safety dinosaurs? Mm. 
you're you're in charge of setting up the dinosaur exhibit in here. I gotta see what the minimum turn radius is. I do HO, which I know wouldn't fit, but I might be able to fit an N scale loop in there. Do we have a dinosaur set up in here somewhere? A big one? No, not at the moment. We can, but we do not. Do you want one in time for the big tour? Today? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it'd be nice. Alright. The MEA people have well, not the MEA people have seen it. Alright. The GRPS people have seen it. Thirteen oh one hours. What you doing, Ed? I am modifying the cable tray to fit the new layout of the lobby. One of these days, somebody should paint behind there. What do you think? Might be a good idea. But the uh, rack used to be sitting right here, so the Ethernet lines for these computers just went from there to there. Oh, okay. So you're making it all pretty now. There. So Look at that. That's so much more efficient. I just wish that rack that switch was a little quieter, but the what? The switch. Yeah, it is. It is a little loud, but it's working hard. It's doing serious stuff. So what's with the remote reboot setup on there? Uh, I'm just. That's just the. the and what's power. the what's this whole thing back here? Oh, that's the controls for Tesla LED. Oh, they're controlled on this side. Oh, cool. All right. Well, that was also in the rack. Does the camera for it work? Yes. Good. Oh, my God. Look at that shit. It will. Watch. There's science happening here. Have you seen this yet? No. Watch this. Oh, we're on this screen. If you go here, click on, like, a much more appropriate color. Okay, do you have to drag it around? No, it was just focused on this okay. one. Okay, we'll drag it over there. And then drag that out there. Now see how that's green? Yeah. Okay. It's going to request it. Okay, now come here. Come here. Quick, quick! God damn science happens fast, man. You want to see this? Look over here. Look. It's blue. Uh, How's that? And that's we're getting new software for it. Yeah? Cool. Yeah, this, is, this is actually a test. Thing for us to be able to do something much larger, but the idea is members at home can go on our website. On the, this is like the paying member thing. They can go on the website, they can access this, they can pick any color they want. And they're actually, this is a camera looking at it, and the camera's up here. See, it's that camera up there. So if you are a free member, you can see it, you can see the colors change. Okay. But if you're a paying member of any tier, you can change the color. Yay! You can hey, Moose. Spy on. Moose. Yeah. Moose. That picture's crooked. All the OCD viewers, thank you. I'd have gotten 50 comments on that. And Sam is not having it. So this is all set up and nice. New dinosaur. Old dinosaur. We are currently moving all of the arts and crafts supplies out of Studio A. Oh, you were so close. You could have been somebody. You could have had it. Oh, that's way more better. Look at that. The pile's nearly gone. So I figured out how to cure testicular cancer. Huh. Well, past couple of days my right nut's aching like hell. I'm like, what the shit? Because I'm old and stuff, so I'm like, I got nut cancer. I'm dying in six months. Yeah. Yeah. Took my flashlight out of my pocket, and put it put it in a holster, right there. Cured. It's my flashlight knocking against my nut. 
That's not the sad thing. You know what the sad thing is? Did the exact same thing six months ago. <laughs> That's the thing. I was like, my nose sure. Oh, I can't wear a holster. So I put the holster back. So, yeah. Figured out how to cure cancer. Right there. Flashlight holders cure cancer. I'm going to submit it to Natural News. Cool story. That's all you're going to take? You have a beautiful spot right here for putting stuff on. You can take a box. Take this box. How about this one? This box is empty. Why are these boxes even here? Because the boxes. There. It's rock stable. In so much that it's rock and rock. That's not the one that's gonna fall, actually. It's this one. There. Oh, shit, shit! Oh my god! What? Fuck! No, hang on, hang on. Go, go, go. There you go. Ah, shit! I hate you. It was your two boxes on the back. This diaper box with the creepy kid. Look at that. Creepy baby. Did you see the creepy baby head? The creepy baby head? Yeah, yeah, the creepy baby head. It's like a Raggedy Ann doll, but just the head. Is the hair all ripped off? It's just the head? No. It might be the one out of the parking lot. We, uh... Creepy, raggedy, and the hair. Oh, okay. I don't think that's it. I don't remember. I think the one we had in the parking lot didn't have any hair. Ask Rose or Batman. They'd remember. I'm not familiar enough with that. Jump the wire. This will be the captain's blog time lapse. Just the low budget version of the abbreviated workday. Just like the abbreviated workday with a crappier camera and lower production quality. You having fun? Yeah, yeah. yeah? Okay. Sure. You have a real office now. Yeah. You're breaking one of the rules, but. Okay. Well, your monitors are backed to the window wall, which is a bad idea because you get glare and it'll make you crazy. And your monitors are available for casual view from the public walking in, which is a bad idea in most businesses. In our business, it doesn't really matter because really the level of transparency we have. Hey, people might want to know about your super secret grant applications. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt if anybody The Geek Group is unique among STEAM <laughs> educational institutions and that classes are not the foundational component of learning. The Geek Group's pedagogy is based on the notion that all learning is driven by the individual. Therefore, the Geek Group built a structure that allows each individual to decide what they want or need to learn and how they want to learn it. The organization provides the resources each individual needs to learn. This means the organization has experts in a large range of field available to assist each member. This is thrilling stuff. This is nobody knows that. You this just gave everybody our secret sauce. I know, I know. Now, now they're all going to steal our idea. What are you up to? Finding a home for this. He belongs in a home. He 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 should be in a home, a cheap state-run home at like that. I'm sure Amy can make some recommendations. I just, I don't remember where it was hanging up. I know her. Yeah? Yeah. She's been stalking him for a while now. She shows up at all our events. Oh. Where the hell did you find that? I was just in there. There was nowhere near that much shit left to move. Oh, yeah, there was. It was hiding behind all the Is there posts. still more left? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Keep rocking, sir. It keeps going and going. Just like that, exactly. It's about to hide the wires. Or pain in the ass to put on. Geek Group Ghetto Cable Tray. 
cheap plastic click together rain gutter. Yeah. Works great. This is something that, that AVE would think is awesome. He'd get a kick out of that. Who? AVE, Arduino versus Evil. Ah. It's a YouTube channel you should check out. Just need a little lube on there, you'd be alright. Another day of moving stuff, getting things put back together. I'm digging it. I get to put tape on the floor with the stripey bits. Looking forward to that. What manner of awesomeness are you doing? Video. Try to contain the excitement. I know it's hard. I'm just showing the world your owl fort over here. Mm. It's more of a pile. It's a parliament. Mm. <laughs> I gotta get a parliament funkadelic sticker and put it on there. Is that what it says it is? Yeah, it's viewer mail. That's coming in today? Yeah. Cool, useful today. Do we have any other viewer mail today? Just the other half of this. Oh, which is the toilet paper? Yes, thank you, Daniel. So good to see it again, Dan. Good timing. We used that many paper dolls yesterday. There's a lot of dust. Ed's going to be dusting cameras for a while.
You guys having fun? Yes. Cool. Our vinyl is now sorted by color. Yay! It's starting to look like real space in here again. Yeah. Things getting put away. Arts and crafts was awesome. I'll have to see how good the time lapse comes out, but that'll be the time lapse for the day. Dog's back on duty. I got my plane back. <sighs> what you working on, Brad? Uh, I've got this back up and running, and now I'm going to run another Ethernet drop so we can get the Xerox online and a hard line for Moose. Yay! So kiosks are coming back. Yep. Cool. Yep, check out the sexy wire. Old? Oh. That's way more better. <sighs> what is this intercom station called? Uh, this is Lobby. This is Lobby? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is Lobby. Okay. Cool. And VXMon is about to update Tesla. And this is painted now. I think it needs black 45 stripes. Yeah, I put on um, both poles. Paint that other pole by the other two. Keep finding more poles in here. There's a lot. Well, that's the day. Not terribly exciting, but we're getting stuff done. It's exciting for us. Yeah, well. You guys have fun. That's today's Captain's Blood. That's it.